man. It's game time, baby. Con X5 here, Quake Con. BYLC, yet another CTF hug for you. I'm going to show you the, uh, the scoreboard here. As you can see, just about everyone here now is playing from uh, the BYOC here at QuakeCon. The entire blue team on land, most of the red team. First map starting off Amphractuous here. This is going to be a uh, very fast-paced game, difficult to keep up with because, as you can see, give you a little overview of the base here. This is it. This is your flag room. It's basically just a flag in a corner. Not very easy to keep it there. What's going to happen is you're going to see a lot of... Uh, flag runs where they get a couple seconds off the sand and then get detonated by some rockets or combos or flak. Right around here, the entrances and exits to bases where all the key fights are going to happen. And uh, of course, cutoffs on this map. There are so many different flag routes. It's such a wide map that uh, it's going to be really key for defenders to communicate effectively so that they always know where the flag carry is and where they're going. So if you can cut out the flag carry, you can stop them really, really uh, effectively. But if you don't cut them off, they can sneak by you in a hurry and be back in their base before you know it. Now we see JS3K running the flag on the killing spree. still looking pretty good on health and armor. Um, he's going to need some help, though. He can't get into his base all by himself. Makes his way all the way to flag. No one on blue team has grabbed the flag yet. Everyone's going after the flag here. That could cost him. Oh, but he dumps right back down the hole right in front of Zeos. He's able to get that return. Red team was doing a pretty good job of... Uh, Locking down their base there, but of course that little miscue gets knocked down the hole, gets taken out. Nothing happening out of that really long, uh, prolonged flag run. Frail sauce grabbing, not going anywhere. Three blues shooting at him. Looks like Amp should be up soon. I'm going to go take a look at it. Looks like blue is all over it. They're going to grab it. Let's follow Ark. There we go. So he's going to have this Amp and see what kind of damage he can inflict. Not very much. Hey, you see the multi-kill by Kakui. Pretty much just death matching in mid, though. It's kind of a... Uh, a meaningless multi-kill, but it does it does get on stream. It doesn't let him go back and look at it, his little trophy, his internet trophy. Uh, as he dives to the flag and gets gets shot out of midair. Let's go check on the position and see who's playing defense here. Oh, never mind. You, well, Fail Sauce gets taken out instantly. Pop over to red base here. You're going to see Nell back on the flag. Galgor, so pretty much this is the same team that played in the last plug. Galgor and Nell teaming up for some defense. And it'll be interesting to see if they play far back or far, far forward because you can really play this map a lot of different ways both offensively and defensively since you know the flag's going to be moving no matter what you do. It looks like they're both opting to play up forward and try to get people on the way to their flag. And then what's going to happen is a lot of people are going to sneak by them and grab that flag but they're hoping they can be in front and cut them off to give the other guy time to catch up to them. That requires really good communication um, but can still be very effective. You see them pushing all the way out. It's also going to allow them to push up and help with the power-ups. Of course, Ark making a pay right there just by jumping around him, but uh, Nell in position to get some shots off on him. Ark, though, going to turn that corner to Amp. He's going to be out of the line of sight for the, def the defenders. He's got 99 health. He can piss him back to his base. He's going to do just that. Nell gets right up on him with rockets, though, with that close-range kill and quick return. GS3K pissing back to his stand for a quick cap. No one on blue there for the pickup. And that was a quick turnaround. Uh, blue had their flag carrier all the way back in base. Still didn't make it. So uh, not even five minutes into this game. Already seeing a cap by Red and Fractious as we saw I believe yesterday. It can be a very high scoring game though. So one to nothing really isn't a big a problem. You just have to uh, make sure that you can pull some across your, yourself. Can't count on winning a game uh, on Fractious scoring one cap. Get some good cover there by Fail Sauce. He actually manages to do that while not taking any damage. Still has 100 health. Ooh, down to 14 quick. Zio's going to get that return right before he gets killed. It's a red flag going. I believe... Yeah, there we go. Not sure what that little glitch was, but um, Fail Sauce has the flag. Not sure what the power timings are. We'll give a quick look through them. Nobody waiting or fighting over them, so we're going to go to the uh, flag carrier, Fail Sauce. He's going to take... Shots to the face by Zeos. Goes down, though. 
Knocks Chowy off him. He's got a little bit of cover now. If he can push his way through mid, he'll be in good position here. He's ha past the halfway point. But of course, it's very difficult to seal off the base here. You can translocate across this map so fast. This team is going to have to do a really good job. And in fact, they do a really good job. They actually make it look much easier than it is. As Red makes sure they have a, a clean path straight back to the base. So good job for Galgor and Nell backing up, making sure that they can walk right back into their uh, into their flag stand. And, uh, and, and walk it right back to base. So here we see Red taking a 2 to nothing lead, just about a quarter of the way into the game. Uh, you see the frag differential, but those numbers don't necessarily mean that much. Now you see Failsoft pushing up, going to take that lift, get right back into his base. This may get... There you go, another cap by Red. So they just... Uh, Blue needs to find a way to, to really stop the bleeding here and slow this down. Let's see what's going on. There you go, Arc taking the 100 armor. That's a good start. So Ark now making the most out of this. Oh, he goes down. Making the most out of that armor. Kind of extended. It didn't really go uh, very far with it, though. So blue team really struggling to get this flag moving very far. Red, on the other hand, has been getting it moving nonstop. Already pulled it across three times. Now you see flag here, GS3K being sneaky, running up to amp. However, Kakui is right there to turn around and, and, and uh, stamp that one out. I'm going to watch uh, the blue flag and see what's going on that they're, they're having so much trouble keeping it home. So it looks like we have Chawi and Zeos on D. Zeos up front, Chawi back on base, back on the flag stand. But uh, Failsauce is just running away. I think the problem what we're seeing here is uh, not enough cutoffs. Oh, it looks like uh, they thought they had the flag and did not. GSRK with this hand. I'm going to follow him and see if he does anything with it. Oh, he goes down instantly to Zio. So not much happening really with the power-ups on this map. Um, not really all that shocking. He still has... Or still has it. I don't know. He definitely still has an amp based on that hit sound. Uh, it looked like he went down. Like a little spectating glitch. He goes down. So both flags reset. I'm going to check the 100 armor. Just got taken by Toggle. Let's watch him and see if he uh, grabs his flag. Alright, Toggle now had that 100 armor, decides to back up and grab some more. He's kind of stacking up, waiting for his teammates to get in there. Ooh, headshot on fail sauce. He's going to be all alone in there, two on one. Probably not going to get a whole lot done, but you know, maybe he can get this flag moving and at least disrupt the defense, make him chase after him. Oh, wow. Nice prediction combo by Zeos. Toggle just looked at that one and said, crap. Not much you can do about that one. So I'm going to predict your movement three or four seconds in advance. You pretty much just have to eat it and come back for more. Looks like we've got a fight over the amp. I'm not sure if it's spawning soon, but we've definitely seen a lot of fighting. There you go, GS3K picking it up. Let's follow him with that. See if he can get a flag carrier in in front of him while he picks off the defense. See him trying to take out that translocator. Then he goes straight for that lightning gun. Oh, misses it. Doesn't pick up the flag, waiting for a teammate, but nobody's there, so he pretty much just goes down right on the stand. Let's take a look at some defense now. Let's watch Chowry playing. Blue has definitely... Uh, has definitely secured their flag a little bit more in the last couple minutes. Um, it was moving non-stop before. Now uh, both teams are pretty much at a stalemate. Now you see him body blocking the piston right there. Good move. Don't know if he did it on purpose, but uh, he was in the right position. Failsaw's going down to Rockets. Misses the trans up to the to the return, so Toggle's going to keep moving this one. They're relaying it across mid. They have the whole team there. It's going to be very difficult for Blue to stop this flag here. They need to get ahead and get a grab. Nobody's doing it, though. Oh, the flag's just sitting on the stand. Wow. Fails also able to just piss him straight to base, get the return. So miscommunication by Blue. I think they thought the flag was dropped somewhere off the stand. It was just sitting right there. Nobody went for it. So a bit of a miss of a uh, miscue. Zeos though with that hundred armor, he's going to be defending with it. So that's going to make him uh, 
give him a little bit of an advantage against these runners that are coming in. However, Red Team does have some runners, especially Fail Sauce, who can really be frustrating to play against on a wide open map like this. Unless you can predict which direction he's coming in, like Zeos did right there. GS3K getting yet another amp coming in, coming into blue base, trying to take out Zeos, probably opening things up for his flag runner. Gets a double kill. They haven't grabbed his flag yet. He's probably calling for him, saying, hey, get in there and get it. Grabs is a few seconds back behind the play, but uh, GS3K now. All right, sorry about that, y'all. We're getting this uh, dual tournament set up. Xfire Rep was over here helping us out, had a little conversation. Got that set up. No extra caps coming in the meantime. Like I said, Blue Team did finally uh, stem the tide. However, their offense hasn't really had any any uh, uh, luck getting that flag moving themselves. So let me see if I can find uh, an attacker for Blue and see what they're running in on here. We got Arc playing through mid. He's definitely more of a mid player. Very good at uh, pistoning, but he tends to be uh, at his best whenever he's timing all the power-ups, denying the enemy team, and uh, maybe even grabbing him on a route through the, uh, you know, through his flag runs. See him going in, taking out one defender, trying to take out Nell. Needs some teammates in here, though. Maybe that's the problem we're seeing with Red is that they're going in and one at a time, or excuse me, with Blue, is that they're going in one at a time, and uh, it's just not going to work against a team like uh, Galgor and Nell, who are very experienced defenders. Saw that last pug. Uh, you really have to disrupt uh, a good pair of defenders like that by uh, going in together, knocking them out of position, and then you start your solo grabs, your cherry picking, or whatever you can to get them moving around. Still plenty of time, though. You can cap so quickly on infractures. So you can really turn things around in a hurry um, if you can make an adjustment either based on position or based on how you're playing. Um, in this case, I'd like to see Blue Team change how they're attacking. Um, so Arc here in mid. You just heard 100 armor taken. Let's catch up with that. May have gone down. Oh, nope. Somebody has it. There it is. Fail sauce with it. Picked it up with the flag in his hands. This is a problem for the blue team. He's already down to 67 health. Combos in the back. They all dropped back. And they definitely caught that one uh, Caught that one in the right position. It took him out before he could get very far with it. See Toggle with the flag. Red team just having blue flag in their hands more than blue team. So he's going to go up, pick up the 50 armor. Not going to do him a lot of good. He needs to drop down and pick up some health. Not in time. You see him drop the flag right on top of those, those health packs. Zeos with a return. And, uh, you know what, let's watch some of these uh, red defenders that have been locking this flag down. There we go. We'll watch Nell. Working the angles. You see him push all the way out to flag side. I imagine he's been pushing right side. Galgor's probably been pushing left side. Um, you see him all the way in mid. Not much pressure coming in. Whenever you're allowing your defenders to push out that far, it usually means that there's just not enough, uh, not enough tenacity from the other team's, the other team's uh, attackers. You see Art coming in by himself. And again, very difficult to come in two on one, regardless of the map, especially with good defenders. Kiwi does jump up, jump up there and get a grab. Oh, wow, that flat ball went 
that flat that flat ball looked like it went through the uh, <laughs> through the screen. So nice prediction by Nell. And yeah, as you can see, it looks like blue team just isn't getting enough pressure on them, and it's allowing the red defenders to really get comfortable on a map like this. It's unnecessarily you really have to get them moving. Doesn't doesn't hurt when you have people uh, you know making shots like that across the map. So I'm not sure whose map pick this is, um, but it would be interesting to see if blue team comes back, maybe picks a map if it, if if, uh, if this wasn't their pick, maybe picks a map to try to. Uh, that play will play a little bit differently. See if they can try to get this flag disrupted a little bit more. Right now, what we're seeing is just all red, uh, all red defense on this half of the map. And meanwhile, uh, Red's offense is able to come in. It really has no pressure on them. I mean, they've capped four. That's a pretty solid showing for Infractuous. So they're about to cap five. Is GS3K walks all the way back to the to the flag scene. Doesn't take much damage on this side of the map. And it looks like uh, really, it looks like really what's happening here is red team just has uh, a better. They're just playing better offense right now. And on a map like this, your offense, your best offense, or basically your best defense, really your your yeah, your a good defense, really good offense on this map. We'll put it put it together that way. Those words, those things that you attach together to to say things. Um, because the flag is so easy to get moving, and obviously you can't capture unless your flag is home. So if you keep the other team's flag gone, they're never going to capture on you. Fail sauce trying to push his way through mid. He's got a little bit of cover. Chowie's catching up to him, trying to get a telefrag, not going to get it. Doubles back from the defenders, pushes him back a little bit, still waiting for some cover because he figures he's going to go down. There he goes. Oh, a good pickup by Toggle. He gets his trans ready just in time, but he's still surrounded by blue. Desperately needs some cover kills. Oh, gets a double kill with Rockets. He's going to be heading back into his own Rockets. Down to 10 health, though, so something's going to take him out. Oh, and Fail sauce misses the translocation up for the pickup. He was in position, had the right idea, just didn't quite executed properly. GS3K going in with yet another amp. How many has he gotten now? Eight amps for GS3K. Absolutely dominating that power up. Didn't single-handedly uh, lead to this score, but it certainly doesn't doesn't hurt whenever you're shooting in mid, in mid with double the damage. But two and a half minutes left. This one getting close to being uh, mathematically over here. Uh, an absolutely dominant performance by the red team. Take a look at the scoreboard and see what we can see here. Uh, Pick through some stats for you. You can look through. I mean, really, I think you, the story was uh, was already there. GS3K getting eight amps. Um, Blue just getting completely outfragged here. Uh, I do think that we'll probably see some trades going on if they decide to continue this bug. Um, maybe one or two just to even teams out a bit and uh, see if we can make for a more exciting second map. I'll flip through some more of these stats, give everybody uh, a chance to measure their... Uh, their e on stream here. Kind of surprised not to see uh, any more crazy accuracy numbers being that we're playing on land. Everything's a little bit more crisp. It's a little easier to hit people, uh, you know, obviously with a better response time on everything. Oh, let's watch this amp run by GS3K. He grabs his ninth amp of the match. One goes down. Two goes down. Gets a double kill. He's going to be... Uh, Doubling back to see if he can get a multi-kill. No one to shoot. He's actually running out of targets. There they come. Ooh, dodges those rockets. Almost went down in a heap. One goes down. He's going to get a, probably a killing spree out of this amp run. There's an easy shot right there. Another double kill. Maybe get a multi. There it is. Ooh, almost a headshot lined up on Nova's there. That would have given him a, uh, uh, a nice end to that spree. With a minute left, this one's pretty much going to be over. Take a look, see if there's any chat yet. You know, we'll see if, uh, if we decide to switch up teams for the next pug. We are getting ready uh, to get set up for a dual tournament, so maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll end the pug early, or uh, you know, we'll see we, we'll see what the players decide to do in the next 40 seconds. Um, but in the meantime, you know, we'll just I don't know. I think we'll I think we'll just stick with uh, whoever we watch. Haven't watched Galgor much, have we? You look at some of these nets coming out here. Uh, Huge positive nets for the red defense. We'll watch Galgor do his thing. Him and him and uh, Nell have been able to push so far out in this map. It's really just pushed the blue team all the way back into their base. You can only really do that whenever you've got a team that's just uh, just um, significantly better fraggers. 
that's really what you're looking at here. Three, two, one, coming in. Galgar getting one last flag kill just for just for good measure. And uh, yeah, even when even Zeos only a negative net on the blue team. Pretty much the story of the game there. I don't think we're going to continue with the same teams. We'll probably mix it up uh, or even just repug. So I'm going to throw on some music and stick with us, and we'll see what we, what we decide to do here.